times a bridesmaid. 110 races. Got to get around here to be official. This last lap is a lap Brad Kozlowski has been waiting, waiting three years to run. And you're right. He came over here. Big gamble. Put it on his shoulders and did it. Left a championship contending team and organization. White flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Well, Brad Kozlowski is four corners away from getting back into victory lane. He has done a fantastic job. We knew that this was a style of racetrack and we knew he had a good car yesterday, qualified well, and that put him in position to do exactly what he's done today. RFK, they're here, they're back. Both of those cars were a factor and it's Brad Keselowski. So happy for this guy. Three years of trying. Since Talladega, April 21, Brad Keselowski wins the Goodyear 400. 36th career win. Ford's first win, too, by the way. Well, they have definitely made a whole bunch of ground from where they were 10 weeks ago. Appreciate it. Hell of an effort today. A lot of drama at the end. Way to get through it, TJ. Appreciate your help. Love to have an American flag down there if you got one. Matt McCall, the winning crew chief and I think we'll see an American flag. There's one handy there on the pit box. Uh, Josh Berry right there. Top five, a third place finish for him. Fantastic day for those guys. Chase Briscoe, nice rebound for this part of the season in fifth. Justin Haley, ninth place. Phenomenal day out of Ty Gibbs. It's a hard place to get around. Proved his, his work behind the wheel, did a great job all day. This is the second win for Keslowski at Darlington. He's had 21 starts here. And he becomes the first driver to win for the team that he co-owns since Tony Stewart at Sonoma in 2016. Four different drivers have gone to victory lane for Jack Roush at Darlington. <laughs> There's a guy clear up on the fence. This would be a popular win for everybody in the garage area. It would be a lot of emotion in Brad. And Kozlowski carries the American flag in a Polish victory lap and waves to the fans in the front stretch grandstand. Brad Kozlowski is just a, you know, he's just a, a, a phenomenal asset when it comes to building a race team because of his knowledge. He's obviously talented, talented enough to, to win races and do the things that he needs to do inside the race car. But what a turnaround for this whole organization over the last two years. Well, to borrow a line from Horatio Alger, uh, Brad Kozlowski is NASCAR's Mr. Strive and Succeed. Hard work pays off. Look at this. Bush and Matt at Reddick. I can care less about mine. I'm sorry. I fucked up. I fucked up. It doesn't work for me. We don't have that sticker on the wheel right now. Huh? I need to be better. I don't have that sticker on my wheel. This means more. We need you to be better. We raced each other just fine for so long. Right, well, we apologize for the language, but we understand the frustration. Busher is saying, I don't have that sticker on my car, meaning the checkered flag, the wind sticker that gets him in the playoff. Reddick said, the worst thing I wanted to do was get into your car. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Had himself a position two weeks in a row, too. Got it taken from him. That's that's a tough pill to swallow. I can understand the frustration. moment that Brad Keselowski has waited three years for that Ford and Ford fans have waited all season for. Three is with his second Darlington win.
Regan? Well, Brad Kozlowski ends a 110 race winless streak. You get your 36th career victory, Brad, but this is the first one driving for a company with your name on the side of it. How special is that? Uh, it's uh, what a heck of a day. Uh, it's Darlington, so whether it's your first win, your last win, it's just a really special track. It's uh, the history of NASCAR. It's as tough as it gets, and then that battle at the end <laughs> with my teammate, Tyler Reddick, and I were just all laid it all out on the line. It was freaking awesome. <laughs> I thought I couldn't get much better in Kansas. It did today. That was awesome. I'm so glad you guys got to see that. That was incredible. Thanks for being here. We did it. Just really great. 34 laps to go, Brad. You mentioned that battle with Tyler Reddick. You lost control of the race at that moment. Did you think it was all over with at that point? I mean, it wasn't good. <laughs> uh, but I knew that uh, I'd have another shot at it. My car was really good on the long runs. And when Tyler got underneath Regan, or a tower got underneath uh, Chris. I, I knew I had another shot at it. When they made contact, and I couldn't get by. I'm like, oh, and they must have got a flat tire. I don't know what happened. And we got, we caught a break. You know, we've caught enough bad breaks over the last, you know, year or two. It's nice to catch a good one. Brad Keselowski wins on Mother's Day weekend in Darlington. <laughs> And on the flip side, Chris Buescher, his teammate, it was an emotional week for you after the finish last week. It ends emotional now, Chris. Take me through that battle with Tyler Reddick, and why are you so frustrated? What did you say to him? Uh, we got wrecked. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I mean, that one's, uh, that one's clear as day. Uh, don't need any cameras to tell us, but uh, I, I don't know what to say. Um, we, we've raced each other really clean through the years. Uh, try to be respectful about it, and uh, thanks, Jack. Um, try to be really respectful about it, and uh, we get used up. Uh, it, it, it's something that you, you just know is not going to work. So, uh, I'm just really pissed off about it right now. Uh, you know, we uh, certainly had a chance to win another one. Uh, really proud to uh, to have that speed. Uh, huge congratulations to Brad and uh, and the Six Bunch and Castro uh, on their win. Uh, you know, that's awesome. Uh, but. And I wanted it for our, our fifth third bank group right here. And um, I just thought we got used up. And uh, I mean, he knows he messed up. He said it. But it doesn't change anything for us. Uh, I told him he's got a win sticker on the door. And, uh, and you know, we, we, we're still trying to find ours. And, uh, and we get used up like that, take away those, um, those opportunities and stuff. Um, that's two weeks in a row we've had a, a shot to win races. And, uh, yeah, one, uh, I'm going to live in my head forever on what I would have done different in this one here. Uh, I need someone else to be more mature about it. Heartbreak two weeks in a row for Chris Buescher. Let's hear from the other side of that story. We'll go back here.